Oh, oh, oh. I'm having a freak out up to ten years later. Oh. Oh. An American democracy. It would be really great. Island of old world elegance. Guam? Rich in its heritage of art and culture. With wah-wah pedals playing constantly. A wealth of historic grandeur and beauty. It does not exist here. Who's the cat who would risk his life for fellow man? Shaft. Yeah, can you dig it? Year-round sun makes this island a vacation paradise. And very hard to sleep. And today, it is also a land of progress. But we can't tell you where it is. Building into the clean blue skies, the island is on the move. Hawaii? No, an island. What? Bilingual schools. Bisexual students. Modern hospitals. Are not here. Luxury hotels. Are desperately needed. Progress can be seen everywhere. In places other than this. Circle Pines is really thriving. This is Puerto Rico. Progress Island, USA. Oh, when did they change the name? A Quinn Martin production. Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Puerto Rico, a thousand miles southeast of Florida, where the Atlantic meets the Caribbean. And they really hit it off. A land the size of Rhode Island, it is just as American in its way of life. So you might as well just stay where you are. Oh, indigenous cuisine. With this, and this, and that. Here, money is exchanged for coconuts. Puerto Rico is permanently associated with the United States. Its three million people are U.S. citizens, and like other Americans, enjoy a representative form of government. Feel the glory of the royal scam. The capital in San Juan, where the Senate and House of Representatives form the legislature. Newt Gingrich is the head of that, too. La Fortaleza. Built by the Spanish in 1540, it is the oldest governor's mansion in the Western Hemisphere. And it shows. <laughs> the promise of this land is fostered through education. Huh. Institutions like the University of Puerto Rico contribute to continuing progress. But not much. Here, one third of the entire population is in schools. Lot de Gravis goes to class. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's room dos, dos, dos. Today, the island's educational system attracts young people from around the world. Not mainly from Puerto Rico. Here, we're flying in another trumpet section. <laughs> that nose wheel feels mushy. And then you fly it. That nose wheel struts mushy. San Juan International Airport. Crossroads of a global network of air transportation. It's real deep. Travel from anywhere in the world in a matter of hours. Just like everywhere else in the world. Okay, let's get funky now. Yes, even the air supports airplanes just as it does in the not better United States. For the visitor, Progress Island offers a tremendous variety of experiences, beginning with the rich and colorful heritage of the Caribbean. Which we buried in order to build skyscrapers. Look, just come here. The fortress of San Felipe del Moro. This could be avoided at all times. Ooh. Constructed in 1591, it withstood the attacks of Sir Francis Drake and witnessed many battles throughout its proud history. Not fun times at Guantanamo. Progress! The streets of old San Juan, once the cornerstone of Spain's Caribbean Empire. Now the site of numerous muggings. No. Casablanca, home of Ponce de Leon, who sailed with Columbus and established the first permanent settlement on the island. Oh, thanks a lot, Ponce. And here's where the nuns sleep. In the rooms and courtyards of Casablanca, one can still hear the echoes of the Spanish main. Folklorica, authentic costume, dance, and music of old San Juan. Are not here. Valerie Harper lookalike contests are held. Yes, no matter what the culture, folk dancing is stupid. <laughs> here, up with people, get down. Don't break my heart, my achy, breaky heart. Puerto Rico. Well, thanks for coming out tonight and sporting live folk dancing. We have another show coming up soon. The Museum of Art in Ponce, 
a perfect setting for a family outing. I wish we had that for you. The virtuoso Pablo Casal, founder of the oh, island's wow. famous music festival. The museum collection represents five centuries of American and European art. I'm not speaking to you. The cultural institutions of Puerto Rico enjoy an international reputation. For omelets. All over the island, abundant recreational facilities await the visitor, old and young. Like swing sets. Championship golf courses, the finest to be found anywhere. Are in Florida. Tennis season, year round. Here, Gilligan plays a set. <laughs> Puerto Rico is an indoor playground, too. There's non-stop excitement, both night and day. In Las Vegas and Atlantic City. Gambling! Gambling. With sunshine 360 days a year, Puerto Rico offers something for everyone. Like flights out. Fun-filled lifestyle, whatever your pleasure like walking or holding a tennis racket. Spinal injuries are popular on the island as well. Graceful palms, an abundance of beautiful beaches. Puerto Rico is indeed a vacation paradise. Abundant with pink and white people. Resorts like Palmas del Mar blend old world charm with modern convenience. Now well, that means no hamburgers. Condominiums, leisure villages, and a complete range of outdoor activities make Progress Island an ideal place to live for every member of the family. Except mom, dad, brother, sister, grandpa, and grandma. Concert under warm tropical sky. The music of John Philip Salsa. <laughs> For the people here, the quality of life is being fulfilled with each coming year. It has formed a continuing pattern of progress that all started more than a quarter of a century ago. A, a century, century ago. ago! In the beginning, the economy was based on the land itself. From the time of Columbus, Puerto Rico has been praised for the beauty of her landscape. And sacked and pillaged many, many times. Hibiscus and Bougainvillea flourish throughout the year. As do Papancola Kluki and Flingula Lilla Flingula. The mild tropical climate encourages many forms of agriculture. Here are some moo cows. Green bananas and young pineapples ripen in the Caribbean sun. We'll stop with the sexual imagery. The largest crop is sugarcane, which has been cultivated here for centuries. So you can sugar frost your damn cornflakes, filthy American pigs. Special refineries process the cane into sugar and molasses. Ah. And thus is born Puerto Rico's most famous product, mm -hmm. rum. <laughs> the rums of Puerto Rico, many different brands, all with flavors that are remarkably light and dry. I love this guy. Almost all of the rum sold in the U.S. is produced here, and its export is vital to the economy. So drink rum constantly. Within this building is the heartbeat of that economy, the Economic Development Administration, which has achieved remarkable progress through industrial growth. Here comes the hard sell. Operation Bootstrap. A pioneering program for self-help developed by the agency has created an investment environment which attracts industry from around the world. You mean cheap labor? Even SPS is here. Strawberries, marshmallows, tinfoil and fudge and some dingle balls hanging from trees. Why, even aliens from Mars are here. A skilled workforce makes Puerto Rico the largest manufacturer of mini computers and a leader in solid state technology. Things with blinky buttony type things. Pharmaceuticals Ooh. that demand the highest standards of quality and controls. When Judy Garland died, it destroyed Puerto Rico's economy. Oh, With the help of a generous tax incentive program, hundreds of businesses, both large and small, have grown and prospered here. Even the Pink Jeans Company. Manufacturing includes everything from apparel to high technology products for the home and industry. She's plucking her chin hairs. Yeah. 
Then Kiss came to town. We don't know what this is, folks, but it's definitely Puerto Rico stuff. One of the most important operations on Progress Island is petrochemicals. Nearly two billion dollars has been invested in plants and facilities. Millions poisoned. Another fun friend. <laughs> Complete with giant rolls of toilet paper. Whatever the industry, Puerto Rico's greatest natural resource is her people. Come exploit her people. These will never go out of style. Comes complete with a Peter Crampton album. A growing volume of goods from the continental United States arrives in Puerto Rico. Now the fifth largest market in the world for U.S. products and services. The fifth or 18th or something. Customers here on Progress Island mean over 130,000 jobs throughout all the 50 states. <laughs> and thus contribute billions of dollars to the nation's economy. Puerto Rico and the United States, a partnership for progress. Whether you like it or not. Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay, boy. we'll move there. Oh. Can you dig it, can you dig it, can you dig it, can you dig it? An American democracy. Are we starting Island over? Island of old world elegance. Rich in its heritage of art and culture. Oh, look at the art. A wealth of historic grandeur and beauty. It's found on other islands. The Spaniards named it Puerto Rico. Because they couldn't think of anything else. Today, we call it Cheap Labor Bill. Congress Island, USA. Because we have no regard for history, culture, or tradition. We would like to apologize to all the people of Puerto Rico that we did not offend. Bye-bye.